Just because I, I can use Strike Right twice in a row without having to... I still can, actually. I don't think I could. <laughs> but maybe we can buy... A, no, we can't buy potions. Damn it! I think we're, we legitimately... I, we, we did nothing this entire episode. This entire episode, we did absolutely nothing. Do you sell anything that I... You sell normal potions. You sell normal potions. That, that's fun. But I already have normal potions. That's not what I need. Maybe you can give me something. Yeah, I, I, I didn't think so. Uh, did I get any puppies between last time and now? I don't think I did. I think we ended the last episode. Well, we didn't end the last episode with puppies, but I don't think we have gotten puppies since the last time we went there. I'm gonna... Gizmo shop. Gizmo shop. There's still some items left in the gizmo shop that I haven't gotten yet. Because they too are rather painful. Um... To get. Hold on. I need to actually, like, enable the gizmo shop. Which I haven't done because up until now I haven't had thunder in that uh, other map. Uh, I do now. If nothing else, I have it through uh, the item menu. But I think I also had it through the magic menu. Uh, maybe I don't. Uh, I'm going to be so happy when we get back to Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix randomizers. And I don't have to worry about any of this shit ever again. Um, yeah, Thundera. Okay, Gizmo Shop. This is ridiculous, dude. This better be worth it. If this is not worth it, literally the only thing I can do is level grind at this point. And I'm going to be honest with you, I am very much tempted to say that I'm not going to do that. Because this is a Friday upload. If there's no way forward and the only way forward is is grinding, maybe it's a good thing to just end this on a Friday and, and pick it back up with a new series on Monday. Doing this with Glide makes it a lot easier, though. There's also no longer enemies around for some reason, I think. I mean, I appreciate it. Please don't spawn in now. Oh, it's all the way over there. I think there's no enemies around. I'm sure they're going to show up any moment now. Okay, so what now? I pressed all the buttons. That's supposed to give you something, right? I never know how this thing works. Let's Google it. Let's Google it. I don't give a shit anymore at this point. Kingdom Hearts 1 Gizmo Shop. Yeah, 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 yeah. IGN. Um... All you have to do is go uh, to away from the second district, which is next to the, next to the fountain, uh, and then the gizmo shop to get the gizmo shop. Walk along the... Yeah, 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 yeah. When you enter these locations, you'll see Donald and Goofy searching briefly after that. Just tell me what and if to get something in the gizmo shop. Okay, IGN is a fucking useless piece of shit. Um, I mean, I know where the gizmo shop is. I'm literally inside it. I just don't know. Travis Town Part 2. Red Trinity, Earthshine, yeah. Accessory shop, first district, who cares? Okay. Uh, defeat the heartless, the upper... I, I don't care. Talk to the clock and you'll get two postcards. That's what we get here. Huh. 
Okay, that's two postcards. That better fucking give me something. Because otherwise I will have wasted like five minutes on this. At least we accomplished something today, right? We got two more postcards. Which might give us something halfway useful. I very much doubt it, but th there is a chance. You only sell gummies. I don't even have to check your inventory. Dream sword? Okay. Okay. Um. Potentially worth it. Holy fuck worth it! I don't care about MP. Fuck that shit. We're using a dream sword from now on. Uh, and then abilities. Um, second scan, I guess. Yeah. I know it's a little late into the episode to start like doing boss fights for a second time. But I kind of want to try my hand at the Neverland boss fight again with this weapon, which is like more than twice the power that I had before. Yeah, I have less MP, but I don't know if you noticed, the MP situation didn't really matter that much. I have to go all the way back there. <laughs> the MP situation didn't really matter that much. Let's see. Let's let's see. Do I do I deal a lot more damage? It's uh slightly underwhelming, but not too underwhelming, really. It's actually kind of good. <laughs> it's surprisingly not shit. It, it, it's still not great, don't get me wrong, but... I can actually see damage being dealt to enemies now. Which is a fucking start, at least. There's also no music here. I just don't know how the power of Ragnarok is calculated. Because most of the damage that I'm doing- Fuck you! Most of the damage that I'm doing with Ragnarok is very much based on this is, this is how you grind. You die in a map and then you actually get like a decent combo. Anyway, um, because it's magical, right? I think it might base its power on the amount of MP that you have, because you don't have a magic stat in this game. So Ragnarok itself might have become less powerful as a result of me using this weapon. Which would be... Well, not great. Let's give it a shot. It's not a good weapon to fight Ursula with. That much I can tell you for sure. But maybe for this fight, maybe it's worth it. It just might be. Probably should have gone out of the room and entered back in just to like have the ladder down at all times. Um... Yeah, I... Uh... I have a very big sword. <laughs> uh, I, I I switched out the the thing that allowed me to do Ragnarok. I realize now. But I think I have infinite mega Alexis, maybe. Also, this is way fucking better. Um, mega potion is now. Mega potion is not fine, actually. Okay, so do I have cure unlocked? I have cure unlocked. Okay, I don't have any MP anymore, but I have cure. <laughs> Why won't it let me use Mega Alexis, though? Oh, probably because it's a, a spell that I need 2 MP for... Yeah, that makes sense. My, my, my sword is too big to actually swing, uh, is the problem. <laughs> okay, so keep 2 MP at all times, so that you can use Mega Alexis. Th that is what's going on here, right? It's a matter of needing 2 MP? It is. Okay, so we go... Strike Raid? 
Okay, so we go Strike Raid, Mega Alexa, Strike Raid, Mega Alexa. Because otherwise things become dangerous. Okay, we can do this fight. We, 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 can, we can do this fight, no problem. Well, <laughs> I don't want to say no problem because that, that, that's just <clears throat> not the case. Uh, but we should be able to do this fight somewhat okay. And worst case scenario, we can just like go into, no, a Trinity. You know what? Let's go. Just for another strike rate, I can always Mega Potion myself, uh, if need be. Let's just Mega Potion, just to be sure. This is working. Uh, this might be cut up into two different episodes, because we're nearing the 40 minute mark, I think, at this point. I am too absolutely terrified to look away. That's not what I needed to do. Well, actually, that is exactly what I needed to do. Um... Where is he? 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 There he is! And he's gone. If you just hit me once, I get back into a range where I can use a Mega Alexa, so I might just let you do that. But I know. Okay, now we can do this because I know that Arrow becomes Mega Alexa, and I think this should be Strike Raid, or otherwise that should be Strike Raid. So let's open up the ladder one more time, and after this, I, I am convinced that we can do this now. Ragnarok just wasn't the right tactic, strangely enough. Strike Raid might just be better than Ragnarok in some cases, especially if you can infinitely do it anyway. Uh, because now we should just have a shortcut menu that lets us more or less infinitely do this. Because now we can just immediately Mega Alexa and go back into Strike. Is this cheesing? Uh, have you seen how much trouble this Chaos Randomizer has given me? If I choose to take advantage of an infinite loop that the randomization gives me, nobody's gonna complain about it, alright? <laughs> can we agree on that? I fucking hope we can agree on that! Cause, uh... I didn't check how long the recording was. At this point we must be over 40 minutes for sure, right? There's no way we're not. So, uh... Again, we call this the Clayton, because the, the, the strategy was uh, conceived of, of during the Clayton fight. But it works on uh, mostly any fight in the game, really. As you can clearly see right here, right now. This fight in particular is just a bitch in general, with like, disappearing and stuff. Doesn't make it easy, it just makes it possible, okay? Yeah, okay, we are 40 minutes into the recording. I'm, I'm splitting this episode into halfway through. Uh, I don't know how long each part is going to be. It's probably going to be fairly lengthy. Um, and strike rate. But probably not going to be like a full hour of recording. I'm probably going to record for about 50 minutes or so, I imagine. And then I have two 25-minute episodes, roughly. Maybe a little longer. I mean, you can just look down at the duration of this video and then the last episode as well and figure out how things ended up going. But so far, this is going uh, remarkably well for this attempt, so... If we die again... Correction, when we die again... I'm going to try doing this with the Dream Rod anyway. Just because I, I can use Strike Rate twice in a row without having to... I still can, actually. I don't think I could. <laughs> That's a waste of a strike raid. That was. You know what? Let, let's just... If we're gonna be fucked, we might as well be fucked good, right? I 
I, I don't think this is gonna help. But if we're going that way, we might as well go with three wishes. Because that means we can do like three or four strike rates in a row before using a Mega Alexa. That surely will offset the amount of damage. Why am I... Why is my randomization different? Wait, is your randomization based on the weapon you're carrying? No, it can't be. That, that was stupid on my part. It can't be, right? Surely not. Um... Stupid on my part, but sure, it'll work. I have to test that out, because if that actually is the case, that things also change depending on the weapon you're carrying. That is very interesting. Yeah, the damage offset is not worth it, by the way. Um, then again, if I win this one, uh, it clearly was worth it, but I don't think I will. Teleport away. Teleport away. Please teleport away. Don't keep attacking me. Teleport away. Thank you. Now I can use this. Get the fuck out of there. And start another double strike rate. Okay, uh, I think the damage offset might actually be worth it. Never mind. Because it gives me more invincibility. Is really what it comes down to. I don't know. I don't know if this is the right time or place to use another strike rate, but we're, we're doing it. This fight at this point has become tedious rather than difficult, which usually is very much a good good thing. Strike rate. I don't know where he is, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna raid his strike so bad. I, I don't know if that's a, a proper phrase. Yeah, none of this randomization stuff makes sense. I, I, I changed his three wishes and my loadout is different? Let's go back to that for a second, because that was weird. Oh, that That's a safe way to... We can fly and we can heal. We, we can heal fly. We can fly heal. Whatever you want to call... That, that, okay, that, that's, great. That's, that's great, actually. Uh, I was going to say great, then good, and then I landed on no. Actually, that is great, because we can just go up into the air, be relatively safe. Um, yeah. Go back down to the ground and attack. He's down to his last HP bar, almost. Come on. Last HP bar. It's by far the most annoying HP bar, for obvious reasons, but he's down to his last bar. Okay, we can do this. We are gonna do this, as a matter of fact. Uh, I'm not on range. <laughs> well, that's a waste. There he is. Okay. Getting damage off again. Come and Cherry is kind of falling apart, I know. <laughs> But I'm actually focusing for a change. Usually I just like relax and and play the game and just let things happen. This time, right now, right here, I'm actually focusing on the gameplay. So do excuse me for a moment because this might be the only chance we have of not just giving up on this playthrough. Moment I can lock onto you, you are getting strike rated so bad. Okay, there we go. I can do two in a row. You and your fucking invulnerability, it's actually kind of annoying. Like, it's actually really annoying. Because even when I hit you, I don't hit you for that much. You know what? Let's use another strike, right? I shouldn't have done that. Definitely should not have done that. You know what? Do I still have Mega Potions? 
I don't. Of course I don't. That would be too fucking nice. Okay, Mega Alex of time. Back into the same rhythm again. Don't deviate from it. Don't try to be a smart ass. Don't take any risks. Just just do this. Unless it means you will literally die. <laughs> but even then. That, that, that becomes a choice between death now and death later. And honestly, well, death later is always better than death now because it gives you a chance to uh, to make up for any stupid mistakes you might have made. This low stage people are taking a while to go down, isn't it? My mind just keeps teleporting all over the fucking place. It's it's actually the worst. Uh, I guess Mag Alexa and more strike raids. We are 45 minutes in. I think I've been in this fight for at least 10 minutes now. Uh, that is insane. Most Kingdom Hearts bosses don't take 10 minutes. Like, yeah, the the optional, the super bosses, those do tend to take like 10 to 15 minutes. Normal bosses usually are done in like 5 minutes. And this is why, because it gets really tedious really quickly if they're not. And this boss definitely wasn't designed with like 5 phases in mind to make it a longer fight. So that makes it even worse. But we're getting there. He's almost dead. You know what? I might just power through with this one. I've done that three times before and it's killed me every single time. So maybe don't do that. You know what? I'm gonna do it. Should I do it? <laughs> definitely not. This, this was definitely a mistake. Or was it? Or what? It, it was. Or was it? It, it? it seems like it might have been. Or was it? Just randomly, like, using strike. We did- Ah, oh, we got- <laughs> Max items plus is actually pretty huge. Two level ups out of that. <laughs> Two level ups, okay. My god. Let's go back and save, like, instantly. Because that was insanity. Um... Yeah, I am going to do a little bit more level grinding though off screen if I can find the time this weekend, which I should be able to get some free time to just get it to like level 35 or 40 to stomp the rest of the game. Because we started this playthrough on hard mode, really feeling the hard mode. Then we had a couple episodes where things went very well, we were at a decent level. Then we had to skip two entire worlds because we don't have high jump. And now we're very underleveled again. <laughs> ah, this is gonna be fun. See you next time.